allow one more. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Okay, we'll move forward. I'll now close the public participation portion on this request and discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Page. Mr. Staff. Um, if this property were going to be divided further, wouldn't that have to come back for your office in order to do that? This would be examined. Yes. Yes, sir. I mean, the, um, now here's the concern to the citizens, but if, if they were going to buy this property, like these other two have mentioned here, that would have to come back to a process through your office again. Right. They would have to come back to subdivide the property. And it's, um, as indicated in your report, something that's on our radar because they've already got two lots off of a dirt road from the original parent track. So we've already kind of put them on notice in the report that two additional lots is going to get closer to that. Normally with the county engineer, five or six lot level that requires road improvement. Um, so we're, we're beneath that threshold with two, but it's something that I know he's aware of. Now, I'm not sure about the narrow road, um, or the road condition or the right away acquisition. Um, I know that with this case cleared his office, he's aware of this case, but I'm not sure of those particular, um, concerns. I, I'd have to seek his guidance on those. Mr. Davenport, I, I would have a question then. Um, McNeil Road is a county road, a county maintained road? Y yes, sir. It is listed? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a private road or anything? Like no, that. sir. I, I can double check that, but I have it as a... So it should meet the particular width guidelines? 30 feet from the center, center of the road. Yeah, I mean, it's a... 30 feet from the center. It's a 60 foot road. You shouldn't have any problems passing on a 60 foot road. County road. Uh, mm -hmm. The, the right-of-way width that they showed on the survey as well is, is 35 feet, so some right-of-way, that's typically the standard is 60 feet. Roads can be paved below that, but typically it's 60 feet. So um, you can see on the plat, they actually did reserve 12 and a half feet of each of these properties in anticipation of improvement, but I don't know if that's on any list for improvement anytime, anytime soon. Good. Mr. Yes, I'm not sure I'm clear on this. We're looking at 25 acres. We're splitting the 25 acres and requesting to sub, basically subdivide the two 12 acre tracks, right? The applicant? Six. So we can sell six acres. That's right. That's right. Uh, it's still going to be. Would the, would the road frontage and the way it's set up, would it accommodate any more than like two per six acres? I know you're concerned that you have more like mm -hmm. two, and that's somewhat of my concern. I have a question. I mean, yes, sir. is that going to solve the problem, or is it that you need to put a condition on it if you decide to do so? We, we looked at whether or not we thought a condition was necessary because of the density. Um, and I think there's a couple different ways to go there. The first is what they proposed and what they told us is we want four lots. Here's your avenue, Zoning Board of Appeals or Planning Commission, County Commission to rezone for four lots with what you want. If you take that off the table and say, what could you do with this property if you're going to like a maximum development, you'd have to look at improving the road because of the number of lots. And you'd have to probably look at building a road because you'd be limited on the number of on the road frontage in the front. So that's a pretty significant cost for development. Is it possible? It sure is. I just don't think it's likely because of that cost, but it's possible. Um, the third scenario about, you know, what, um, I'm sorry, Ms. Manuel was maybe told with family relationships is some of the same rights that you enjoy in agricultural zoning. If you have family and you don't necessarily need to subdivide, you can have more than one home on the property. Um, if you did want to subdivide, both EA and RA zoning, the current zoning and the proposed zoning, have the right to do a family ties 
subdivision, a one-time you know, subdivision to do that. It, it would be possible here. And that's not what they've indicated, but those rights are consistent with this property as well as the property that's adjacent to it. So to, to us, the only difference between using family ties on what's proposed and what's there is that um, you possibly could do at 6.25, I'm, I'm going to say you might be able to do two more lots uh, per piece with RA zoning rather than EA zoning using family ties. So the density would increase if they do four lots, that would be two, four, six, eight. Eight more lots than, than as currently zoned. But that's for family, you know, that's limited to two generations above or below. So I mean, I'm really, you know, getting kind of technical, but I wanted to tell you that I think that those are three opportunities for development. Um, I, I, I don't think that's likely, but it's possible. Um, the family ties, you know, I'm just, I'm really trying to develop the property as full as it could be. If they did do that much development, I don't know what the county engineer would do about road improvement, because that's eight, you know, that's that's a healthy amount of lots on that road that are that are not there now. So that'd be something you would have to you would have to really um, do some analysis on. So you're talking about when, when you break up the six acre yes. lots. Yes, I'm taking it into six acre lots and then doing family ties in addition to that. I mean, I'm really trying to take it the next step. But you could. Yes, sir, you are. I mean, on a on a smaller lot, two two per um, family ties will allow you to have more than one resident per lot. Carmela, correct me if I'm wrong, but and this is the same in EA, so so don't think this is a change. But I think you can have up to five residences plus your residence if it's family, as long as you don't subdivide. Where we get into play is when you start wanting to cut it out. And and it's going to be your property or my piece or, or her piece, but if you really wanted to, with this much acreage, you could have up to five homes in addition to your own for family members or farm agricultural workers. But that right is consistent with EA and RA zoning. So that doesn't change whether it's under the current zoning or the proposed zoning. That particular stipulation remains consistent. The, the um, question you asked earlier when you said about talking about conditioning whatever possible but whatever, were you referring to one house per six acres when you said four total or you know like the 12 acre track one house per six acres as they proposed to subdivide it down the center right right and it's for one two three four okay. period i was just curious as what you were where you were going with that or were you talking right. about on the 12 acre track we're talking about four on that 12. No, right. Just, just, just four and four. Okay. As they proposed to do. But this is up for sale. Right. right. And they have no say over what the buyer does. But if it's zoned RA, they <coughs> put a house every two and a half acres. That's right. They got to have access to it. Got to have access to it. That's why I say if you just put conditions, then it would be just like they said they're going to do. And One house per. And then that would relieve me. Do that right now. With EA, am I right? I don't think they have enough. I don't think they have enough width for four lots. I think they could take that property right now and do three lots. Three, I said, you know, okay. eight, eight, nine acre lots. But I don't think they have enough to do them for six point two five. They don't have. So to that's the objective is to try on the twenty five acres to get four. Yes. Lots. That's what we've known as their goal. From the beginning is I'm clear yeah, the, 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 the difference on EA and RA is space between the houses. Right. They yeah. can't do I it with EA. Okay. Right now. I was just trying to, to, to get an understanding when you said four four houses. Were you talking about putting four houses on the twelve or four houses on the twenty five? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. That's uh, I go okay. four. 
I just don't want to bring us back. It, before us tonight, we're dealing with two lots and two lots alone. And if anything in the future is done with this property and further subdividing, it have to come back for y'all to study it and to make recommendation. We'd have to come back to this body and the county commission as well, right? If you, if RA is approved by the county commission, then we would just look to meet the development standards of RA zoning. So it would not come back to this commission as long as they met those standards. Okay. Um, what they're proposing is to do something that's more than what's allowed there. You know, they're, they're proposing to do something that's more than the minimum standard. So we would check for minimums for RA, but unless they didn't meet those, we would either come back to y'all or go to the Zoning Board of Appeals where they would change their proposal. But just because um, y'all approve RA zoning, unless there was a condition on it that what you're speaking of, we would just pursue it as what our normal regulations are for RA. So it wouldn't necessarily be tied to their proposal. Their proposal meets our standards, but it wouldn't be tied, it wouldn't be tied to that. Probably because it would red flag because it would be a road issue mm -hmm. or some other issue that would stop permitting them from doing that. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't necessarily be that if they wanted to do something else, they would have to come ask for a zoning change. It would be flagged by something else. That's right. Okay. I mean, if they if they didn't meet whatever requirement they couldn't meet they would have to go address that. Most likely it would be at the board of appeals level because you'd be moving beyond the rezoning and getting into a width or a road frontage type issue rather than the access to the property. That's right. All right. Are there any other questions? Mr. Willis. Just want to make sure. <laughs> I call him but one more <laughs> We are dealing with the whole 25 acres, correct? Yes, sir. That's what we're doing. Okay. Sir, I'm ready to go. Okay, since Mr. Willis is ready, we'll go ahead and move forward and I will now entertain a motion from the commissioners. Mr. Chair. Mr. Willis. <laughs> See, my point is since I've been asked the 400 questions. Okay, I'd like to uh, make a motion uh, that we recommend approval of the RA zone, EA 2RA zone, um, on the 25 acres. However, because of the uh, traffic possibly on the road and accomplishing what they want, the, the folks is requesting wants anyway, I would like to uh, put a condition on it that only four houses be placed on that 25 acres. All right, we have a motion with conditions. Does everybody understand the condition? I'll entertain a second. I'd like to second that. Second by Mr. Raker. Is there any other discussion on the motion? Hearing none, call the vote. All in favor, signify by raising your right hand. Where are you now? All right, thank you very much.